Time for another of our end of the season interviews, and this time it's with head men's golf coach Steve Fell. Another great season for the always terrific UWF men's golf program. They won their 10th Gulf South Conference title. They also advanced to the NCAA regional tournament. So, coach, uh, another good season for you guys, and it's always good when you can bring home that conference hardware. Yeah, it's uh, always nice to win the conference championship in our 10th. It's hard to believe. Uh, and I think that's uh, uh, more than any coach has won in the conference, uh, in the history of the conference. So I'm pretty proud of that. In any sport for that matter, not just men's golf. Oh, uh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> so a fantastic achievement uh, for you guys and for your program. You ended up going to the uh, NCAA Regional Tournament down in Deland, Florida. Didn't quite go how you guys wanted it to. You led after the first day fell to a ninth by the time it was over, didn't advance out of Nationals. So maybe not the way you guys wanted to end the season, but it gives you guys a, a lot to practice for when you're out on the recruiting trail, a, a lot of motivation for, uh, for next season and improving on that result. Yeah, it was obviously disappointing to finish uh, the way we did. We had the worst two rounds of the season, uh, the last two rounds, uh, unfortunately. Uh, things just kind of didn't go our way. Uh, we led after the first round, and yeah, you know, that was really what I was worried about. Mm -hmm. Having finals the the week before, uh, we didn't have a real good week of preparation for uh, the regional. Um, but that's you know that's the way that's the way golf is. You you, you never know what's going to happen. Um, such a mental game, and uh, with the field down there at the uh, the regional, it's so strong, you, you can't afford to have one bad round, much less two, to advance. But yeah, I mean, it's something that we'll try to, uh, you know, regain uh, our focus coming into next season and try to try to get through that super region. It's, it's, it's awfully tough. And not the best way to end this season, but it doesn't really put a damper on the fantastic career of Otto Bonning. I know he's been with you for four years. Uh, the last guy from your last national championship team four years back has been a steady competitor all season long, took home medalist honors at one tournament this year. But really, it's hard to put his career into words. Just a, a fantastic four-year career as an arc knot. Yeah, he's going to be awfully uh, hard to replace. Uh, he's been, uh, you know, my number one player for uh, the last two years for sure. And uh, I've I'm pretty sure he'll end up making All-American, probably second team once they come out with that. Uh, Gulf South Conference Player of the Year this year, won a tournament, which was one of his goals. Uh, obviously, he has a national championship uh, under his belt. Uh, he's meant a whole lot uh, to the program and, you know, to myself, uh, just been a, you know, great player for us. And although it's several years down the road, a guy that'll probably find his name in the UWF Athletic Hall of Fame before all is said and done. Of course, uh, he had a lot of a lot of help this year, a lot of good guys in the supporting cast who stepped up in different tournaments and talk about those guys. Yeah, Carlos Rodriguez was probably the one that stands out the most. Uh, he had a really solid season, um, lots of top tens, um, won a uh, tournament, uh, the conference championship right. actually um, so that and that was his first tournament uh, victory and you know he's going to be back next year so he'll probably step into that role of the the number one player uh, Thomas Augusta Peterson uh, had a solid season finished seventh at the regional uh, our best player there um, so I have those two coming back, uh, Ryan Black actually just qualified for the U.S. Pub Links uh, yesterday. Um, so he's, he's off to a good summer, um, looking for him to step up. Uh, um, but, you know, um, have those three coming back, and then we'll have some freshmen that are going to have to fill uh, some, some of the roles uh, with Otto leaving and then Blake Olson transferring. Uh, so uh, we have a couple of holes there that they're going to have to step up and fill. Of course, if the, the past is any kind of indication, you've certainly got the guys in place to step up and deliver. 
another conference championship. Uh, Argonauts bid adieu to Otto Bonning, perhaps a future Hall of Famer here at West Florida, but the future certainly bright for Coach Steve Fell and the men's golf program. Of course, like he mentioned, lots of summer news about the men's golf team. Those guys will go play in many amateur tournaments, and then it all cranks up again in the fall. As always, you can follow the progress of the men's golf team right here at GoArgos.com.